So yeah, maybe I should go to Salt Lake and just go get a haircut with Tanisha. Hi, I'm just in town and I just, you were referred by a friend. Hi, can I have a haircut? Oh yeah, thank you for this haircut. So what do you do? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think I heard of that woman, Monica. Tell me more. And then you just get all the information and then you just take mental notes and then you run outside and put it all on your phone and then you come home and you turn on the microphone and you do an episode for all of you lovely patrons on Behind the Velvet Rope. Always play dumb. I go to the Tom Sandoval shows. I can't play dumb anymore. Tom knows who I am now. But before that, it's great. You're just like, nice to meet you. How are you? How's the reality show that you're on? Oh, yeah, Vanderpump Rules. I've heard of it. Yeah. What type of music is this? And then you're like, get all the information. See how it works, guys. Listen, I took lessons from reality, Von Teese, everybody. I know what to do. Um, So watch this, Tanisha. We have our own real-life gossip girl. Monica is owning it she's owning it she's posting i think she's proud of herself it really is such a it's so epic i'm sorry i could talk about this for hours i just ah you guys know nothing excites me anywhere this excites me um let's before we get to the future about monica and then we have to move on we have to talk about three more things here um there's a video now that has surfaced that apparently tanisha like i said you see that friend, after you've done the crime, you got to take them out. Whoever knows you did the crime, you got to get somehow rid of. I don't know. I'm not suggesting anything. But anyone that knows you did the crime, you got to get rid of them so you don't do the time. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't know how else to put that. Now, Tanisha apparently took a video of Monica and her mother. You guys have to see this. You'll have seen it by the time you listen to this. It's a day and a half away. Of Monica and her mother screaming in the house over the time at Angie's on Easter, where she had a fight with her mother in front of everyone. Apparently she fell down the stairs, although we had Sean Trujello here, Angie's husband. Should we all go listen to my Sean Trujello? Uh, we talked a lot about Monica. Should we go listen to that and see if there are any clues there? Let's go listen to Sean Trujello. Um, But her and Monica, I mean, this was an epic fight. If you guys have not seen this video, go and find it online. I mean, every other word to Monica is, you're a fucking bitch. And I mean, also, it's so sad. How, how do you talk to your mom that way? Right? I don't know. It makes me sad. It's her mommy. I don't know. I don't like talking to moms like that. It's sad. But... The mother, the mother ain't like, ah, uh, in the corner crying. She's like, you fucking bitch and your boob job, your tits look like shit. It's really what she says at the end. But they smack each other down. I mean, not physically, but they have this huge fight. Now the video's out there. Monica's mother seems to be shockingly defending her mother, uh, defending Monica on Twitter, where she's like, we trusted this woman. She broke our trust. I don't know. I don't know if Monica's mother thinks the gravy trade is over and her daughter's in, in danger of being fired. I don't give Monica's mother so much credit for being mother of the year. All of a sudden, she's defending her daughter. Uh, girl, she's like, listen, I might hate you, bitch, but like, I wanted you to get the 120 for season two. You know, I'm sure Monica's people will try to get 200. Then you got to pay, you know, it's 80,000 more, but then you got to pay like 10% to the people that got you the extra. So, all right, it's still a win. Anyway, everybody. Um, so that's what's happening. So this video is really funny. And the mother's like, you, you are, are an actress and your job. In reality TV is to be in as many scenes as possible. And this whole fight is over the fact that Monica left the filming. And you fucking left. So you could have gotten 40 minutes on air. And you left. And that cut your airtime down to 20 minutes. What is wrong with you? The goal here is to be on every scene and blah, blah, blah. I mean, these two are just calculating to the nth degree. But again, they did it so well. So watch, go watch this video. I, again, I will say it. I am so impressed with you, Monica. Two final things. Her future, her future. Look, I've stopped predicting things. I have usually err on the side of someone being fired. I mean, remember when I said Melissa Gorga was 100% not coming back this season for Real Housewives of New Jersey? Remember that? 
wasn't that long ago. And here she is. We have to sit through a whole season 14 of Messy G and Josefina Agonacita and not speaking to Teresia. Is anyone bored before we even turn on episode one? Are, are, are we bored? I mean, there's no mystery here. Let's see how Melissa and Teresa don't speak to each other. It's really simple. There's not going to be any scenes together. And the rare times there are, they're not going to speak. It's not going to be that strange. They're not going to be like standing right next to each other. Excuse me, can you please pass the, the salt? No, there's like, they're not even going to come near each other. That doesn't sound so interesting to me. Well, here we are. Thank you, Bravo. Messi G and Josefina Gorgasita are back. Here they are. So I usually err on the side of saying people are going to be fired. I'm usually not right. Although I said Lisa Rito was going to be kicked in the ass and shown the door. Probably like on episode two of that season. And that happened. Everyone told me I was crazy. My good friend Catherine Edwards said it was never going to happen. She convinced me in the final hour. I flip-flopped, as I often do. I said Lisa Rito was going to be fired from episode two. Go back and listen to Patreon. That's why Lisa Rinna blocked me. Could I still say she was fired? And she says, I sent an email and, well, they didn't open it and this and that and, oh, semantics. I don't give a fuck what Lisa or Andy says. She was fired. Lisa Rinna does not pick up and leave a $1 million a year job when she's on TV. She didn't do it. So here's the thing about when someone blocks you. You never know why. You got to think I assume Jen Shaw blocked me because I called her a criminal who belonged in jail. And I assume Lisa blocked me because I said over and over she was fired. I love Lisa Rinna. I'm coming to your wine tasting. I'm coming to your book signing. I'm coming to your Miller's Place reunion. I'm coming to it all, Lisa. So we're going to be face-to-face, girl. I don't care. I'm like Monica. I, I don't care. I mean, what are you going to do? Punch me in the face? We'll call the police. Okay. Anyway... Anyway, so my point is, like, I understand the argument of why people say Monica's going to be fired. I, I do. I do. But if you think about it, what really is wrong with, I mean, she's great at what she did. So she had a secret. She ran a troll account. Jen Shaw had a secret. She was embezzling, stealing tons of money from old people. Tom Girardi apparently had a secret. I mean, Teresa and Joe had a secret. Teresa went to camp. She has some friends from camp. Everybody's got a secret, girl. Lots of secrets come out. So I'm not so, so I understand why this is different. It goes to the integrity of like, Bravo, don't like us bloggers. They don't like all the, I mean, they, they like it. They like that we talk about the shows, but they want to control everything. Like Bravo would love to take control of the Behind the Velvet Rope podcast and say, these are the guests that are coming on. You're going to have three housewives from the new Roni. And, you know, here is a 20 minute 